I'm sorry. You should be. Everything I did, I did for the good of mankind. What, turning them into mind-controlled zombies? I tried to stop it. Yeah, I'm sure you did. How many times can I apologize to you? Tell me. Three years ago? When all this started, did you know what you were doing? Were you actually brainwashed at all? No. It was all part of the plan. So how can you even try to say you're sorry? I was forced, Jess. I was forced to lie and steal and betray. You're weak. You're pathetic and weak. Don't say that. Why? Does it hurt you? Just don't. <laughs> Poor little Donna. You can destroy the world without shedding a tear. But you can't handle being called weak. Shut up. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Soldier! Take her to Manson. Bitch. Come in. Agent Manson? Yeah. Donna Jameson? Wanted. Good to see you, Manson. I bet. So I guess we got some things to talk about. I'm all yours. Not that I really cared. But, uh, what happened to you? It's... it's hard uh -oh. to... It's okay, go ahead. The boss told me he could bring my parents back. But in order for him to go through with that, I had to betray everyone I cared about. That sucks. That son of a bitch lied to me. Yeah, well, I'll get over it. So where have you been for the past three years? He never fulfilled his promise. I continued to do assignment after assignment for him. He never kept his word, so finally I confronted him, and he said that I was naive and an idiot to have ever believed him in the first place. So I went after him, and he sent those brainwashed creatures after me, and I escaped, and I ended up at the house where Jess found me. That's a travesty. It's alright. I've been thinking about you. Really? Yeah. You're just a woman. But it took me some time to get over it. I'm so sorry I let you on. I never... I just... I didn't know what to do. That's alright. I missed you. I missed you too. You know, you never did tell me your first name. It's classified. Morning, Mr. Stubman. I'm Agent Hendricks, but you can call me Kate. Have a seat. Okay, Kate. Wasn't expecting someone so gorgeous. Thank you. Please have a seat. Yeah, right. Get comfortable. Well, let's get down to business. Um, first of all, how are you feeling? A little still on the edge. Yeah, I can understand. From what I saw earlier, you're still out of that 
in shape, you know. You feeling okay now? Can you see okay? Yeah. Now I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Hopefully you'll be able to answer, but if it takes some time, please. By all means. Okay. Why don't you tell me how you came in contact with the Black Dragons? Well, about three or four years ago, I think, um, I was on my way to this meeting with Jack Heinberg and I in a enclosed room with your CIA boss and a few other men and we were discussing about the cure for the virus and uh, during, after the meeting which I still had questions but something just didn't feel right but like I said after the meeting I was contacted by another agent his name Peter I believe Peter Myers perhaps I didn't really fully remember the name but it does sound familiar well and he, he went to tell me Peter mm -hmm. that the cure was just the virus it, it, it wasn't real the boss was lying and I kind of thanked him and went to go confront the boss. And when I stormed into the room, it was just the heat of passion. Uh, I just started yelling at him. And next thing I know, I, I blacked out. And then I woke up in a cold, okay. dark room. It's okay. Peter, you said. That was soon after he was saved by the Black Dragons around that time. Peter? Black Dragons? Yeah. He knew that they were doing wrong, and he wanted to make it right, so by trying to save you from to prevent spreading the virus, that's why he stopped you and contacted you, I'm sure. Wow. I should uh, sit down and have a few beers with him. Continue, please. What happened next? Well... I, uh... Basically... Tortured and humane. But, uh... From... What I've heard, you know, they, they're talkers, you know. Yeah. Did they say anything? Something about where they're located, somewhere downtown, on like the outskirts, maybe. And there is a town. Well, I wish I could offer more help from that. One more thing. I overheard a plan involving the boss and Donna. Donna Jameson? Yeah. Oh my god. We recently just found her and brought her back to the base. We have to go to Jessica. Peter and everybody. Right now. Let's go. It's okay. Let's go. It's okay. Come on, go. Oh my god. Jess, I'm glad I hear an to you. You have no idea what I just found out about Donna. She is part of the Black Dragons. Her and one of those names. She got captured on purpose. We have to go.
on, guys? What's going on? Hendrix was talking with Jack and she got some important info out of him. Like the whereabouts of the Black Dragon's base? No, Peter. The boss set up a trap for Jess and her team, and they were supposed to bring back Donna like she was, and now Manson fell into her trap right where we left off. Are you kidding me? Jack? Sorry, Peter. It's true. Have you told Manson about it? We tried to, but he's beyond logic right now. He wouldn't even listen. Typical Manson. Looks like we we'll have to take care of this. You read my mind, Pete. Well, that doesn't sound too good. Shit, they're here. Provide sniper support. Hedrick, you use this. Wait, watch out. 